Good morning, guys. So I'm at the Caterpillar. You see the big bulldozers that I have right back of me. Um, I got the part number for the fuel line. They do not have it in stock. So I can make one here. I have to retake this one out, but I can make one here. It's not going to be a, a steel line. It's going to be a... a the other kinds it's, not, it's, uh, it's like it's called braided line or something that i think i believe i'm not i'm not i'm not 100 on the name um but anyhow i have the pity bill next door i'm gonna go to the pity bill hopefully they have it there or maybe they can make me a steel one the line's like 65 bucks which is not bad at all so i'm gonna take my chances going on the pity bill if not i'm gonna come back here and see if i can make one and that would help me out a lot he said i, I can make one and put it on and work it that way but it's not recommendable to leave it because it's the main supply line um, but hey you know what if it works at least to get me back home with not without an issue it's gonna go on there look at this this must be the most bougie ass crap i've ever done in the truck that's the line right there right look that's the line right here the one in the back i don't know if you, if you follow it you see you see all that black stuff see our line is clean all the way with all that black stuff on there it's what i put on to seal it and that is jb weld but you know what? It hasn't leaked yet. I want to buy the line because I don't want to risk. I don't want to run the chance of it breaking off completely or whatever. Because it wasn't broken completely. It was just like a little nick, a little crack. You know. So I don't want to run that chance. If I can find the line, I'll buy it. You know, and then just just have it in stock. Um, and here's the part number for the line. All right, so I'm here at the Pretty Bill in Florence, South Carolina. They do not have the holes as well. So I'm gonna go to some place across the street where he said that they might have it or they could make it one. Um, oh, I also found out now that my front main seal is leaking. So I bought it here now, it's 90 bucks. I bought it because it's, it's always an issue. So another one, let me see the pretty bill so let's get to it let's go to the other location all right ladies and gentlemen so i am at the scrap yard look at these pig look at the pig i have back here the old pig has a motor has a cap motor has a, a mechanical cap motor in it I saw it um i'm here at the scrap yard because they can make a line but they can also sell me one so i just have to wait for like an hour till the for the gentlemen's the mechanics come back from lunch and they're gonna look for a line if they have the line a good one i'm gonna buy it it's half the price off and like i said i need a, all i need is a line that's gonna get me through the whole process of going back home and so i won't have an issue so nothing i'm gonna show you around the scrapyard and hope you guys enjoy it as much as i do It's a flat top. Look at the stainless steel wing it has on top. I think it looks mean. And look what we got here. Cab overs. This is actually like the first time I have a cab over literally, literally like right that right in front of me. It's an international and that's a, a Kenwood. This is real nice. I mean, back in the days, I'm sure this is real nice. Just a little secret of me, um, I am a big fan of cab overs. I have always loved them. I think a cab over, a stretch cab over with the big stacks on the back, man, that thing looks sick. But they are a little uncomfortable, but, um, but I do like them. Look at all the cap motors we have here. All taken apart. This one catches on fire. Or at least it looks like it.
and those motors over there, those are Detroit. Those are all Detroit. I think we have like a couple of Cummings right there. Those are Cummings, if I'm not mistaken. But all these are cat motors. And we have uh, tanks over there. It's the first time here, I love this place. <laughs> Oh man, when I was growing up, I used to build cars. I used to go to the junkyard every weekend. So coming to a junkyard or a truck junkyard, it's like it's like heaven for me, you know. Just another peat. So I can open it. Oh, it's open. Oh, damn, this is a real old school one. It's an older model. Very good trucks. They come with uh, mechanical motors, too. Here we have um, all type of rims, <laughs> all sizes. We have anywhere from 24 to 22, so diesel trucks or like the big trucks. And then we have other size wheels because the ones like those right there, those are smaller right there. I don't know what's that for, but those are smaller. Those are smaller. And then we have a trailer over there, which I'm guessing those are the, the good ones. Look at this truck burned down completely wow crazy um so here we have the, the aluminum wheels yep trailer full of aluminum wheels i wonder how much are they
These people got whatever truck you want. It's all here. These are all just older trucks, but um, <clears throat> there's everything here. There has to be over 800 trucks here. Look, another cab over. And that right there is I-95, right there. That's I-95 right there. look like they are classic freight liners and we also have a 120s oh no wait no those are classic freight liners too i think if i'm not mistaken yeah those are classic freight liners they are taken apart completely there's really there's really nothing much uh left here but some um interior pieces and all of them. All right, guys. So that's gonna be the that's gonna be it for the walk around. Hope you guys enjoy the video or the the scrap you heard as much as I did. I love coming to these things because there's always um, things that you can find, ideas of people, of things that people have done to the trucks. If it's on there, you might like it. Um, you can find good parts for low for low price because sometimes when you go to the dealer or you know, the actual Caterpillar or whatever it is that you need, it might run you three times what if you know you find the part here <clears throat> in a, in a good in a good manner of you know working condition. Um, so nothing it's gonna be it for the tour the mini tour here and um, I'm just gonna wait till the mechanic gets back so I can get my fuel line and get it going to see where I'm gonna be going next all right guys so I got my fuel line right here and I got two bolts that I was missing they hold the fuel line maybe that's why my fuel line broke um, it was a little expensive you're better off buying at the cat but they didn't have it at the caterpillar and I, ha I needed the line so you know what it is where it is it was 55 with 62 cents 55 dollars and 62 cents to buy a used line caterpillar had it for 65 but like i said they didn't have it so like i said i I'd rather buy the line even if it's used and not run the risk of not having nothing if this one finish uh you know com breaks completely and uh nothing all it really needs it's you know some paint it's very dirty, I have to sign it down and give it some paint to make it look good again. But that's not gonna be today. That's just, I'm just letting you guys know what, what I wanna be doing too. All right guys, so I am still here in South Carolina, Florence, South Carolina. Um, if you guys saw my, uh, my previous video, you guys know what happened. I was able to find a fuel line today I spent all day running around looking for it. Um, I was able to get it. The fix, the mini fix that I did on the fuel line um, with JB Weld, it's still working. Has not gotten bad or nothing. It's working. It's good under. So I'm not even gonna touch it. You know. Hopefully I can finish my trip and I don't have to replace the line with the new line that I got. Well, I didn't get a new line. I got a used line. The reason why I did not get a new line at the location, they do make new lines there, but I did not get one because. Um, they didn't have my uh, my my correct size, so due to that, I was not able to get a new line. So I had to get a used line, which is fine. I just want to get home. When I, once I get home, and I, I can go to the pity bill at home. I can order a new line, and then I can save the one I bought. I can save it for a spare. Um, that was the reason why I did not get 
a new line because they did not have my my correct size other than that i found a load not for tonight the load is for tomorrow i'm picking up in north carolina it's about 120 miles away from here it's going down to houston texas and nothing i can hopefully i can finish my trip from houston texas back home to miami so uh nothing guys that's all i have for you today and i hope you guys are doing good and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace and keep on trucking